This is a Road King. This is a beautiful bike. Basically, it's a touring bike without a fairing. Um, it does have saddlebags, floorboards. So it's going to be a nice, comfortable ride, but no windshield, no electronics. You, know, you got a pretty simple Speedo, digital tack. It does have ABS, traction control. And, uh, you know, the Road King. It's uh, been a pretty popular bike for Harley for a long time. It's lighter than your Street Glide and Road Glide because it doesn't have the fairing. You know, if you were looking for a comfortable bike that you could go on long distances with or even commute with, but at the same time, you didn't want something as heavy, you know, that's, uh, that's the Road King. I'm not sure if the cornering is really going to be any different. I mean, it is the same chassis. But, um, nimble, that's the word I was looking for earlier today. Oh, it's got some giddy up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely more than the limited I just took out. That thing was a big bike. This Road King has that big fat cover on the headlight. That's kind of cool looking. The Road King. I've seen Road Kings with fairings in the past. I don't really know what the deal with that is. If that's like an aftermarket thing or like an add-on, but whatever. If you want a fairing, get a bike with a fairing, right? Big fat front forks. Oh, she corners nice right in oh she's nice she's got power this would be a great bike to commute with but I would need a windshield saddlebags are really nice Yeah, it's amazing the difference between having a windshield on a bike and not having one. Really noticeable difference. I've got a detachable windshield and I've taken it off from time to time, usually once or twice a year just for the experience. And the last time or two I've taken it off, I've been like, you know, why am I taking this thing off? It's just so uncomfortable. Of course, I'm usually blasting along doing 70. This is a comfortable ride, for sure. Um, you can definitely lean nicely on these little curves. Floorboards are great. Handlebars are nice, you know. They have nice risers. They lean in towards you. It feels good. I like that. I think I would try to lean them in just a tad more. But uh, I could live with the way they are. The seat feels good. The seat feels real good. Uh 
got some uh, farm residue on the road. You know, when you are thinking about a new bike, there's so many different factors to take into account. What you have to put them in order of priority. You know, is tearing it up on country roads your thing? Do you want to go long distances on the highway and have a more comfortable ride? Do you need storage? Is riding in cold temperatures an issue? Unfortunately for me, it's all of the above. I like to tear it up on the little country roads. Um, I also like to commute to work and I need storage and I like to ride even if it's cold. But, um, you know, you got to pick what's best for your your riding style. So this looks like it has the hydraulic clutch. I guess a lot of the 2020s, I don't know if they all do, but you can see like over here you've got your brake fluid reservoir and over here it's like, oh, that looks just like a brake fluid reservoir, except it's for the clutch. So you no longer have the clutch cable. And um, I'm not sure, I don't think you have that on the soft tail line. I think that's just limited to the touring line. I love Harleys. I love motorcycles, but I love Harleys. I've only owned two of them, but I've ridden a whole bunch of them. This is my third time doing the demo thing. So I've probably demoed about 15 to 20 bikes. And for my kind of riding, the sporty was just a little too rough, but man, anything from the soft tail line on up, I could get used to. Except the FXDR, the red-headed stepchild. But Harley makes so many nice bikes. You know, every year the new models come out, or they come up with something new and different, and people all lose their minds. I've never been one of those, you know, I, I always just seem to see a lot of positives in what Harley's doing. You know, every company makes bonehead decisions sometimes. It's really interesting, the feel of the clutch when you shift. I, I'm really surprised that there's any feel because it's hydraulic and not cable, but it's you feel a clunk in your hand and I never really noticed it to that degree with a cable system. Oh yeah, she just jumps right out of the gate, baby. Just like that, 3,000 RPMs doing 75 miles an hour. And she's like, yeah, I got plenty of, plenty of giddy up left. This is a nice bike. Nice bike. You know, it's kind of simple looking, appearance-wise, compared to the other touring bikes. But, don't let that fool you. She's got it where it counts. Yeah, this is my style. Let's get the Speedo up there, man. I think my most enjoyable all-around ride today was the Street Glide, the first one I took out this morning. Um, I know that's like Harley's most popular bike, so I don't want to just be like a cliche, but for the kind of riding I do at this point in my life, that would be probably the best choice. dealership does pay Harley for this event. I'm sure that costs them a pretty penny to have, you know, the fleet 
truck, 20 some bikes come in for a weekend. But these guys do it every year, they have free lunch and all that. It's a nice, it's a nice thing. I do enjoy it. go. Road King.